Welcome to the channel, everyone. My name is Diego. Thank you for joining. I hope you're having a great week so far. Today's video is going to be a walkthrough of all the Wisp locations in the bridge. Before we hop in, if you want to support the channel, please take a second to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's really appreciated. Also, if there's content you want to see, please let us know in the comments. Lastly, if you don't want anything spoiled, now's a good time to click away. We're hopping in in three, two, one. All right, Wisp number one is going to take place in Chapter 1, Level 4, The Courtyard. As the map loads, I just want to give you a quick heads up of what to expect on this one. It's not too difficult, honestly. It's pretty simple. All we're going to essentially do is rewind for about a minute. Uh, so there, there we go, getting started right now, rewinding. I'm going to speed it up to five times speed just to, just to save a little bit of time for you. As that's uh, rolling around, I got the timer in the top left corner just so you can get a better idea of how long it's going to take you. As soon as we get past that mark, we're going to get launched right up into the air and then it's on the top right. Uh, the editing there is a little bit choppy because I messed up a little bit, but don't worry, I rewound the time and I got it. All right, Wisp number two. This actually takes place in the main hub, your home. We're pretty much just going to rotate all the way to the left so that we free fall and we're gonna fall past the tree 13 times. So it's a lot, it takes a little bit of time. Again, I'm gonna speed this up for you. I'm also gonna keep track of how many times we go past the tree. You can see that we're on three, four, five, and we're just gonna keep going and so on and so forth. This is a pretty simple one. After you get to 13, it's gonna be just past the tree. You don't wanna to get too far away from the land, but you also don't wanna to be too close to it. It's kinda of gonna be where Escher's positioned right now, and then you're gonna bump into it pretty quickly. There we go. Two down, five to go. Wisp number three is actually on the side of the house. You have to enter the Konami code, which is up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA, and then it'll appear. You're gonna climb up to the side of the house and then you're pretty much gonna jump off until you land on it. It might take a couple of tries, if it does, don't worry. You can always rewind if you have to. There we go. Three down, four more to go. So these were the only two wisps that were outside of the house, around the house, everything else is within the levels. Well, almost everything else. So this is Wisp number four. It takes place in chapter four, level five. If you saw my original gameplay walkthrough, it's the exact same tutorial. It's really impossible to miss this Wisp if you're following along with that tutorial. So that's pretty much what we're gonna do. Again, you just fall down there. We're gonna rotate a little bit to the right. We're gonna slide down just enough to get the menace into the vortex and then we're going to rotate a little bit more gravity should do the work for us and launch it into that gap then we are going to continually rotate until we fall into the vortex the menace is going to roll up and it's going to hit the button so we get to fall out okay now we're going to rotate a little bit more keep going clockwise Okay, gotta be a little careful here. We want the menace to roll back up to where it came from. Yep, awesome. Now we're gonna rotate completely until we fall all the way down to the other side. We're gonna make our way back up until we can get into the veil. Awesome. Okay, now we're gonna rotate a little bit more. We're gonna go clockwise again. We want the menace to fall down. And we want it to land in the button. Keep going, keep going. If you look at the lamp on the left, that's where the wisp is. We're gonna hit it right there. Boom. Like dynamite. There we go, four down, three more to go. Wisp number five can be found in the Mirrored World, chapter one, level three, the Mirrored Menace. This one's kind of tough to get. I read online that you can't rewind in this one, but I don't know if that's true because when I played this, I actually rewinded and I was able to get it. In this uh, example, I'm not going to rewind. I'm just going to show you how I did it. So just rotate and then be careful, rotate again. We're going to make it so that top ball falls down and then we're going to rotate all the way to the left. I actually almost messed up here because I quit rotating, but don't worry, I got it for you. There we go, five down, two more to go. 
Wisp number six is also in the mirrored world. It's going to be mirrored chapter two, level two, the mirrored precipice. As this level loads, I want to give you a quick rundown of what to expect. This one's pretty simple in my opinion. It's a lot of rotation and timing, so it's not too bad. Essentially, we're going to start off here. We are going to rotate all the way to the right. We're going to try to get right over that ledge without falling. So time it. It might take a little bit of practice. Once we're there, we're going to walk all the way back to the left and time it just right so that we fall off and we're going to rotate the entire map all the way around. We're going to go clockwise again and eventually if you did it right you will land on the opposite end. Try not to rotate it too far once you're up there because if you do it'll actually kill you and you'll have to rewind anyways so just keep that in mind and then it's a straight fall from there. All right, six, done. All right, Wisp number seven also can be found in your home, specifically the mirrored chapter three. What we're pretty much gonna do is walk all the way to the left. You might consider this one the most difficult to reach just because you have to get to mirrored chapter three before you can even get it. So that means you gotta beat every other level up to that point. But other than that, it's a pretty simple one. And there we go, everything is completed. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to leave a like and hit the subscribe button down below. Again, if there's content you want to see us make, don't forget to let us know in the comments. If you like the bridge and want to see our review on it, use this link right here. And if you want to know a little bit more about the story, use this one. Lastly, if you want to see more content from me, you can use this link right here to click on my vlogs or check out Friends with Benefits, link down below. Again, thank you so much for watching. My name is Diego and I'll see you soon.